hazardous tales. Hello, this is Nathan Hale here with a cover reveal today. Hazardous Tales number eight will be coming out pretty soon. And uh, as I was looking around at some of my online bookstore areas, I noticed that the cover had already been put up in a few places. And I thought, I better do an official cover reveal. So I thought I'd take you through a tiny bit of what went into this cover, which is similar to what's gone into a lot of covers. Of course, it first starts with a blank page, how to do some sketching ideas. The character in this story I thought would be fun to put in the middle of a big battle scene. So I started sketching out battle scenes. Now this book is another Revolutionary War book. So horses, tricorn hats, swords, sabers, muskets. So this was my first drawing, my first quick sketch. I thought, uh, let's have something exciting and dynamic on a horse with a sword. Here's our character right here. Pretty good. I thought, well, you know what, let me try something a little more complicated, maybe a little more detailed. So I did a little slightly different take on it that lets us see the character a little bit better. If you want to see that first one again, see he's kind of hard to see, the shoulders in front of his face. So I gave it another sketch and this is what I came up with on this one. Kind of tightened it up a little bit and I thought, okay, that's that's pretty good. Um, of course with the Hazardous Tales book, even when you're sketching, you got to have the frame on. And of course, since we're back with the Revolutionary War, we need that red color because of the red coats. And I thought, you know what, this is this is looking pretty good. We need to drop in the colors for the background here. So I started coloring this artwork in, adding new layers of color, and putting it all together. And I thought, you know what, this looks pretty good. In fact, a version of this cover appears in uh, the upcoming paperback of my science fiction graphic novel, One Trick Pony. So if you look in the very back of that book, you will see this sketch cover. Oh, I think I've forgotten something though. Oh yeah, the title. Lafayette. The Marquis de Lafayette is the subject of Hazardous Tales number eight. And the title is just Lafayette with the big exclamation mark. So we worked on this for a while and after a while I thought, you know what? This cover looks really similar to a book we've already done. It looks really similar to One Dead Spy. And I wanted it to look a little different. So we tried some different things. I thought, well, One Dead Spy is the red book. What if we made this the gray book? Would that change how things looked? So we switched it to gray, which I kind of liked. I thought, you know what, that's pretty good. But if you look at this from a distance, it sort of looks like the pink book now. And that's fine too. But as I was working on it, I noticed that Lafayette's head was just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I thought, I would like a, a one of these book covers where the person on the front is bigger than just a teeny tiny uh, person on the cover. So I thought, you know what? Let's try a whole new take on it. And I put out a new sketch. Same scene in battle, but zoomed in. The horse isn't important to the story. So I thought, let's not spend too much time worrying about the horse. Let's zoom in on the action right here, the sword fighting. So you can see the red coats down at the bottom. You can see Lafayette's face in closer. And this Lafayette has a very dramatic uh, expression and dark face of uh, the shadows and the war and everything, uh, which is pretty good. The, and they said, you know what? This is interesting. Let's take it to the next level. So they liked this sketch, but of course you can't use something this sketchy for the final cover. So... We started all over from scratch. We liked the gray, so we kept the gray border. Um, I put together that same artwork from before, but a little more fleshed out and a little more uh, similar to the other books in the series. And there's our artwork. The cool thing about this artwork is, of course, the sword comes out in front of our eagle banner. And last of all, we put on the title, Lafayette. In fact, in the final version that I've seen online, and you'll have to go to your favorite online bookstore to uh, see the final, final cover, but they've actually scooted the text up a little bit so that they could put the, uh, the blue sticker on there. Looks like, uh, it, it looks, it, I'm very happy with it. Um, this is our cover. I want to tell you a couple of tiny, tiny things since I've got uh, you here. I want to talk a tiny bit about the flags. Turns out, the flag, the British flag during the uh, Revolutionary War, is not the British flag, the Union Jack that we see today. The Union Jack that we see today has another red stripe within 
the white diagonals. That red stripe in the white diagonals is for Ireland. But in the Revolutionary War, Ireland was not part of Great Britain. So there's no stripe there. You know what this means? This means that the flag, the British flag on the cover of One Dead Spy, is wrong. One of these days we'll have to fix it in reprinting. The French flag, everybody thinks they know the French flag, but guess what? Before the revolution, it was not the tricolor. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy flag that has flying naked babies on it. It's got all of these many, many fleur-de-lis, and it's got a giant crown in the middle, and it's completely insane looking. So I had to do a lot of extra research on the flags for this book. But it is all done, and here we have our final cover for book eight, which comes out this coming October, which is very exciting to me, but also very terrifying because I will tell you a secret right now. I'm not finished drawing it. Enjoy the book.